welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video I have someone very special that I want to introduce to you. So it's no secret that I have wanted a leopard gecko for a very very long time and I've mentioned it here on my channel a couple of times too. I've wanted a leopard gecko for about 10 years now. I kind of know exactly what I want my leopard gecko to look like. Definitely my next pet is going to be a leopard gecko. I've wanted a leopard gecko ever since I was about 12 I think. So even though I have had my eye on leopard geckos for about 10 years now, I've never been in the position to actually own one until I moved into my own house. However, I did definitely know that I didn't want to go out and buy a leopard gecko, unfortunately because they are considered beginner reptiles, which I don't really like that term anyway. They are readily available in the pet trade for adoption or rehoming because people just can't keep them for whatever reason, so I did know that I wanted to adopt a leopard gecko instead of going out and buying one. So I want to introduce you guys to Orbit. She is my first leopard gecko and she's my first reptile in general. So she is about a year old and I did adopt her from a guy that said he just didn't want her anymore. He just didn't have the time for her anymore, which is fair enough. And I did pay a small rehoming fee for her. I paid £25 for her and her entire setup, which included everything she needed, which I'll get onto in a second. So I didn't really mind paying that to get her out of a home that just didn't have time for her anymore and bring her here. So when I got her home, I did just take the guy's word for it. I assumed that she was male and I did pick quite a male name for her. And I just let her settle in. I really didn't want to disturb her too much. But then I thought I'd better check that she is actually male before I definitely finalise the name. So I had a quick look and she is in fact a female, which I really don't mind. Even though I did want a male to begin with, I was looking for a male leopard gecko because I didn't really want to deal with the whole ovulation, but I'm not too bothered and I love her for what she is and I really don't care if she's male or female. As you can see, she's pretty easy going. She doesn't mind being handled and she is pretty friendly. So I'm really, really happy about that. Oh, she just licked me. Thank you. So the guy that had her before was free feeding her crickets. He was just throwing in crickets every single day for her to eat as many as she wanted or didn't want to, which is definitely not something that I've been doing. I have taken her down to not feeding every single day because she is an adult, they don't need to be fed every single day when they are this size, so I've been reducing her feedings and only feeding her what she will eat. I did pick up some mealworms for her to try just before I picked her up, but the guy did say that she has been fed on crickets her entire life and she really is not interested in any type of worms, so mealworms or superworms, things like that. She's just not interested in them because they don't move enough, so if you have any suggestions of how I can get her to have a more varied diet because I would like her to eat more than just crickets, please let me know in the comments and I will try some of your suggestions. So as I said before, she did come with her whole entire setup with everything that she needed, which I did actually have to make a few changes to that, which you'll see in the next clips, but she is now in an exoterra and her setup is very, very different to the one she came with. But I just wanted to take you through the process of me making changes to the setup that she came with and to the end point now, which is her in her exoterra. Also bear in mind that in the next couple of clips, I'm probably referring to her as a he, because I didn't think to check for a few days and I wanted to wait until she was more comfortable. I was referring to her as a he for a couple of days, so please bear that in mind. So I just got him home and this is the setup that he was being kept in and the tub itself isn't the biggest issue. The one thing that I'm concerned about is the bedding that he's being kept on. It's some kind of wood shaving, I think it's maybe aspen and I just want to get that taken out and put him on paper towel for now because I am really worried about the risk of impaction so that's the first thing that I'm going to do is take all of this bedding out and switch him over to paper towels just to be safe and in his humid hide he also does have some sphagnum moss now. I know a couple of people that do actually use this, but on the other end, I also know a lot of people that advise against using any loose substrate and using this at all. So I think I'm also gonna switch that out to paper towel because it does look quite old anyway. So I don't wanna risk anything. So I'm gonna switch everything over to paper towel for now. And hopefully that should work for the meantime. So as you can see, his setup from his previous home is this wooden house which he does really enjoy being in here. This is on his warm side. And then this log um, with a fake plant. And I've just found a, another bowl under here, which I didn't know existed, so that's good. And this is the humid hide that the guy made for him. And then this is his water bowl, which I've just filled up quickly, just in case he wanted a drink, but he is currently hiding in here. 
So I'm just going to take everything out of here and switch him to paper towels for now. I would really like him to be on tile in the future, but that will have to be when he has his exoterra, so I know the right measurements and stuff, but for now we're going to take all of this out and give him some paper towel. So I don't know if you can see, but there are a few spare crickets running around, and the guy said that he just threw them in and let him get them when he wanted, which isn't something that I'm going to do. I'm just going to put these crickets back in with the rest of the crickets that the guy gave me that he had left over. Okay, so one out of the two hides I ordered him that was supposed to come a few days before I actually picked him up has finally arrived and this is what it looks like. It's just like a resin cave and on the top it has a food bowl section which I think I'm going to put his calcium without D3 in. At the moment I do just have it in the cage in a bowl. Now I'm not sure whether I'll end up regretting this if he does walk it all over the cage but for now I think I am just going to put his calcium without D3 in there and I'm really glad to be taking this small animal wooden hide thing out. It doesn't even fit in the tub, even though I can't stress enough that this setup is only temporary. I am gonna get him an exoterra very, very soon. But this does not fit in here, and it will not fit in an exoterra. It's not really made for reptiles, it's made for small animals. And bless him, he keeps trying to sit on top of here, so I'm gonna take that out and replace it with the hide that I just got delivered today. So something else I wanted to mention is this thermostat. So when I was arranging to pick her up, I asked the guy what she came with just so that I knew what to get before she arrived. And he said, oh, she comes with everything she needs. You just need to get some calcium powder. So I took his word for it. And then when she arrived, I realized she didn't have a thermostat connected to her heat map. Now, personally, I think you should use a thermostat with any heat source you're using just so that it doesn't get too hot. So I ordered this on Amazon Prime and it's here now and it is connected to her heat mat so we don't have to worry about the heat mat getting too hot. So I can't stress to you enough how temporary the setup that you just saw in those clips was. She is now in an exoterra and I plan on doing a whole enclosure tour for you guys because it's very different to the enclosure that she came with. I have also bought her a lot more things since you saw in those last clips and I do plan on doing a leopard gecko supply haul so you have that to look forward to as well. But I just wanted to take a moment to introduce you guys to Orbit. I am absolutely obsessed with her and I can't believe that I have a leopard gecko finally and I hope you guys love her too. I hope you're also looking forward to seeing her in future videos but until then, make sure you are subscribed to see any future animal related videos from us, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Say bye, Orbit!